it was literally an overnight thing where one day I went home as you know, a male officer and then the next day I came in as a female officer. I think my way of dealing with the fact that I can't physically carry my own child is to try and be as connected to the process as possible. But what I can do is just take control of the logistics and the planning and the kind of all almost like the, the operational side of things, um, which are the skills that I honed from my time in the British Army. I now work in the financial sector, having left the army six months ago. I joined Santist in 2009 at the age of 22, and I was in the army for just shy of a decade, uh, during which time I was promoted to the level of captain. Whilst I was still this kind of outwardly confident bloke in the army, in the privacy of my own space, I might, um, you know, wear my wig, put makeup on, wear women's clothes, and that over time became my coping mechanism. But then when I went to Afghanistan, when that privacy was taken away from me for a large period of time, um, that's when I began to really struggle. Um, I told myself, you can't do this anymore, you need to come out. I thought that I was gonna get told I was a freak, I was gonna about to get bullied and I was gonna have to lose my, my career. That's generally what I thought. So when I actually went in and told my commanding officer that I was transgender, um, I wasn't really expecting a response. Okay, did you know I was gay? He was extremely kind to me and helpful and really gave me the support I needed in those initial days. It was literally an overnight thing where one day I went home as you know, a male officer and then the next day I came in as a female officer. You look good. I'd come out in the military before I'd come out to my parents. That was probably the toughest thing I've ever done in my life, was to stand in that kitchen and, and tell my mum and dad that I was trans. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, hang on. As you see with my shirt, I got as close as I could, could to the, the trans colours. <laughs> oh, well done. <laughs> Good stuff. It's quite right on your dad. <laughs> Hannah came out to us um, a couple of years back now. Looking back, if I'm brutally honest with myself, I think I was actually a little bit ashamed. My sense of shame has been replaced with absolute pride. I still think there was a bit of a, like a grieving process where my parents grieved the future they thought they were going to have with the son. Good to go. Yeah, excellent, well done. You look well. But I never for one second felt like I wasn't loved or wouldn't be supported and accepted. Okay. Okay, let's go. Don't we feel like it's me our coat that. hangers? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mum and Dad. <laughs> Cheers, babes. <laughs> Six months after leaving the army, Hannah is being awarded an MBE for her services to the LGBT community within the military. Good stuff. <laughs>